This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at better sub D hotkeys for Maya. The 1, 2, 3 hotkeys are great, and I've tweaked them to be even better, so let's get into it. Okay, so let's look at the issue that I run into when I'm sub D modeling, so the better hotkeys make sense. So I'll often start with a cube, and I will press 2 on the keyboard or 3 on the keyboard to switch to sub D mode. You can press 1 on the keyboard to switch back to regular polygon mode. But I'll do most of my modeling in 2, so I'll press 2. And then I'm just going to select all these edges here and press Control B to do a bevel. And then I'm just going to slide the fraction so we get some hard edges going on here. Go back into object mode. And you can already see part of the problem here. See how messy this is? Like, it's hard for me to see the difference between what the cage sub D actual model is on the low poly and what the wireframe is from the sub D mesh. If I press 3, then it gives me the wireframe of the sub D mesh, so 3. And that's also not useful because I kind of just want to see what the shading's like. And now the wireframe's in the way. I'm going to press 2 again here. To make matters worse, I'm going to select this face in the center here. And I'm just going to do an extrude face and then scale it down. And then I'm just going to go to the Move tool and hold Shift and extrude that face down. And so here's another problem that I run into. As I extrude the face down for circular shapes, I can't see the low poly geometry anymore like see I can't see the edges or the verts even if I scale it in so I can't tell what I'm doing so what I often have to do is press one to go back to this mode and then do my edit there so make a change to these edges or whatever scale this you know do whatever extrude another face in here like this and then press two to see what I'm doing again so I'm constantly going back and forth between you know one and two for the most part and I can't really tell what I'm doing and I also want to just hit three but then I need to deselect the model which is kind of annoying to see what's actually happening. And then in one mode, regular mode, when I deselect the model, I always like to have the wireframe unshaded because you can see in this view here, I can't even barely tell what's going on. It's like it's too flat for me to see what's happening really, like right there or whatever. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn wireframe unshaded. I'm like, okay, great. Now I can see the low poly. I'm all good. But if I press two, it's too messy. I can't tell what's going on. And if I press the Three, then I don't want that there, right? So technically here, everything is good. This is the way that I like to see it and do the modeling. And then in two, I wish that I could see the wireframe unshaded, but not the wireframe unshaded of the sub D. And then in three, I wish I could just see the sub D and no wireframe at all. And that way I wouldn't have to like deselect the mesh. And then see, because I have wireframe unshaded on, I have to deselect the mesh and turn this off every time. So it's quite annoying if you want to work with wireframe and shaded turned on for the low poly, it makes all the other sub D modes also super annoying. So I found a pretty easy set of hotkeys that actually fixes it and makes it like just a better way to work with sub D. So I was going to create some more sub D tutorials in the future, but I realized there's already a channel dedicated to sub D that covers pretty much everything you want to know from beginner to expert. So I'm just going to do a quick shout out for this guy's channel. His name is JL Musi, and I'll link his channel in the description. I've talked to him a couple times on ArtStation. He seems like a good guy, so definitely check him out. He's much better at Sub-D than I am, and his videos are well put together. He's got a bunch of different tutorials on his site, but I found the Sub-D stuff to be particularly helpful. Check it out if you're interested. So I'm just going to go up into Windows, Settings and Preferences, Hotkey Editor, wait for that to load. I've got the My Default loaded right now, so I'm just going to switch back to my custom hotkeys. Click on that, wait for that to load. And then I'm going to choose a category, Custom Scripts. And then I've defined three custom hotkeys here, so Sub D Smoothness 1, 2, and 3. And if I click on those and we choose Runtime Command Editor, you can see this is it. Set Display Smoothness 1, and then WSA Full, and then 2 is None and then three is also none. So I'm just going to close that. And now watch what happens. So I'm going to select this guy. I'm going to press one on the keyboard. So I have wireframe and shaded turned on. That's the way that I always like to model. I never turn that off. And when that's selected, I'm going to press two and boom, check it out. Now all I see is the low poly cage wireframe, which is what I want to see. Why would I ever want to see the subdivision of the actual like sub D model? That's like completely useless. So now I can do my edits here, do this, whatever, switch back. I can see wireframe on shaded there I press 2 I see the correct wireframe in here and then the best part of all is when I want to preview what the whole thing looks like I press 3 
and it turns the wireframe off so I can preview what the edge creases are actually doing. And I never need to deselect the model at any time. So like, let's say I've got some stuff selected here and I'm doing some modeling. You can go to one, you can go to two, or you can go to three. And I just find this a much easier way to work because you can actually see what you're doing. You're not constantly turning this off, switching to wireframe mode, turning the other thing off, doing whatever. So just way quicker. I find this just so much better. One, two, three. So very cool if you like to work that way, similar to how I like to work wireframe and shade it on and then previewing it like that or whatever. So I'll put those three custom hotkeys just in the description of this video. So you can just copy and paste them and overwrite your default one, two, three hotkeys in Maya if that's the way that you like to work. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a swell day.